I bet you've never seen this trick for motion graphics, so let me show you an easy way to create custom loading bars in CapCut PC. First, import your background and select a location where you want to add loading bar. Add a text layer on the timeline and press Windows colon key if you are on Windows and Control Command Space if you are on Mac. This will open the emoji panel. Click on the Symbols section and go to the Geometric Symbols section. Here, you will find a lot of shapes which you can use in your projects. For now, we need a rectangle bar with no fill. After adding this bar, you can easily change the size as per your need. Now here is the trick which can allow you to create custom width and height for this. Under the Transform section, uncheck this Uniform Scale option, and now you can easily adjust the height and width of your loading bar. Adjust it as per your need and create a copy of this text layer. Paste it exactly above this layer and open the symbol panel again. This time, we will select the rectangle with fill. With the same steps, you can change its height and width, so adjust it to fit the no-fill rectangle. Now, from the color picker, you can give any color to this loading shape. Now we just need to animate this green rectangle, and for this, we will create this as compound clip. After creating compound clip, we will get the option to add mask to this layer. So go to the mask section and add a split mask. Adjust your mask orientation, position, and add a feather effect to make it look real. Now, at the beginning, add the master keyframe on this compound clip layer. Move to the second position and change the position of the mask to the other end. Our bar loading motion graphics is ready. You can speed it up or slow it down by just changing the distance between these keyframes. Now, whenever we want to change the color of this loading bar, we can just enter the compound clip and change it. Creating this whole animation into a preset will allow you to use this in any project. So instead of creating this again, you can just open preset section and import it. Make necessary modifications and use this wherever you want. If you like my tips and tricks to make your editing flow smoother and faster, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel.